struggle with your eyebrows too? Because I'm having a really hard time figuring out the shape, the size, what products to use. Well, there's a bunch of other tutorials out there, so let's just try them out and see which one works. What's up you guys? It's Gavin here and today I am trying out the top eyebrow tutorials on YouTube. There are so many beauty gurus who have so many different styles. I wanted to see if I can find the best tutorial. That means that they are both beginner friendly, they are product simple, they're really easy to follow and they are customizable for any shape of face, any type of eyebrow. So let's get into it. All right, so the first tutorial I'm gonna try is by Dentislava. Nope. Dentislava. Dentislava. I will link everyone's information in the description box so you can try them out for yourselves, but that's why I'm here. So you don't have to. All right, let's get started. Hey guys, so in oh, this she's video, so cute. we're talking about brows. I'm gonna show you how. She, um, she has eyeliner on already, so I'm, I'm gonna be right back. So I always like to start off by brushing my brow hairs upwards. Okay, brush upwards. Place, and this way brows. I look like the Grinch. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. There are plenty of angled brushes out there. You just need to find a thinner one. I'm talking about this thin. A thin so one. Okay, so I have nice two. This looks the thinnest. Whoa, 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 wait. Are a little bit more affordable. What are all these things? Oh, they're dip brow stuff. Okay, she said she's using the Kapow. I've got this one, Anastasia of the Beverly Hills's. So we'll just use this, I guess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm okay. gonna outline the outer half of my brow. Light hand, short strokes, really important. And light I'm hand, my way short strokes. The I'm glad she said light hand because as we've seen in the past, I don't have one. Working towards the tail. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so the tail of my eyebrow already looks kind of crazy just in general. I'm just gonna assume it's about here. That that looks that looks okay. Okay. Oh, both eyes. Hold on. Now don't worry if you do any mistakes here because we're gonna use some Great, because I'm I'm a few mistakes in nice already. Nice the same on the upper border of the brow. I kind of started that on my own. I got excited. You want to keep the front part of your brows as natural as possible. So well, in order to achieve that, how are my brows in the front supposed to be natural looking if I don't have brows in the front? I we'll just keep going. If you see me looking up like this, it's because I'm looking at the monitor, making sure that I'm in focus. Center, right? Small strokes. To the end. I look crazy. This brow is higher than this this brow. I think it's because my face, I've always done this since I was a kid and it's given me a lift on one side. So it's fine. My imperfections are, are perfect. My hand and I'm gonna fill in the area between those two lines that fill I Fill in the area. I think I have too much product. Oh, Jesus. But fill in the area. See, I like this brow better than this side already. This one's thicker, I think that's what it is. Feather that product into the front area. Feather into the front. Now she's going this way, so I'm just gonna keep going this way. Now I don't have this little front part, so I'm just gonna assume maybe I'll kind of brush up. She didn't do that, but sometimes you gotta improvise. It's not too bad. It's actually not too bad, I don't mind it. Okay, now we're doing a spoolie. Okay, I have one on this thing. Now take a clean spoolie and brush through your eyebrow, soften up a little bit. And oh, you okay, like so it doesn't look, okay. Concealer. Oh, she's got like another brush. Okay, I'll just use this brush. I'm using a LA Girl Pro Concealer. See that? This is in the color Creamy Beige. We know how to do this. We can clean, okay? Clean up, clean up. Everybody clean up. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Oh, 
Oh Jesus, I think I have too much product again. No, it's not too bad. I think this isn't the right brush, but it's the one I have, so. Oh Jesus, okay. Um, it's looking a little sharp. Maybe I can, <sighs> it's fine, fine. Other side. <laughs> okay, this hair, done. What's next? I have two different eyebrows. It's okay, all right. Okay, okay, there we go. Is to set your brow hairs in place with some clear brow gel. Set with clear brow gel, which I have. So we're gonna set it. There's not really much to set, but she said to set, so we're gonna do that. And there you have it. Big, bold, defined eyebrows. However, if you're somebody who prefers wearing more natural eyebrows, I'm gonna show you how to achieve that too. All right, so if you're going ah. for very quick, natural eyebrows we're just gonna do one of hers this is the final project project this is the final product <laughs> it's not bad it's a little bit better than i've ever done before in my life let's go on to the next tutorial so we've made it through one tutorial so far if you're liking these type of videos go ahead and make sure you give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already yet just go ahead and tap that subscribe button you know you want to, for the sake of the brows. For the sake of the brows. So the next tutorial is by Larissa Nelson. Again, everybody's gonna be linked in the description box, so make sure you go down there and check it out. Hey, what's up guys, this Hi. is Welcome Back Channel. She's so this cute. Is the so I like her brows. Sparse or just like non-existent eyebrows, just with a little bit of hair. That's me. She talking about me. We're working with it. I got you though. Okay. So if you was done, look at her brows. They look like mine. You can see the difference. It is massive. Right? I'm like, I've never seen somebody with crazy brows like mine before. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Crazy. Okay, what you doing, girl? Let's do it. Okay, so we gonna spoolie. We gonna clean them up. I got you, sis. I'm way too hype. Some powder over top of my eyebrow because. Okay. I don't have power, powder, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Right back, girl. Powder. Okay, there was none at all. Great, let's try this again. There it is, powder over the brows. Very emollient, so doing this with some- Emollient. The word of the day is emollient. Dip, in, dip it into the powder dry. Mine is wet. My sponge is wet. I didn't know this. Maybe I'll just put some extra on just in case. Brush these excess hairs down. Brush them down. Sure it, I need to tweeze all this because this is just a hot mess. It looks fine to me. We're gonna skip the tweezing part because do I already don't have. Tweeze oh, well now you're gonna go in and clean. Oh, she's clean. I have foundation on already, which is also why I'm not gonna tweeze. Straight up and then over. Got you. Yeah, I should have tweezed this. Maybe sis was right. <laughs> so we are tweezed and cleaned and red and I have completely changed my eye shapes. It's fine, it's fine. And I have that one too. Mine's a chocolate too. We friends. very lightly outline the bottom portion of the brow. So we've made our little line. Oh, that's the defining part. That dot right there, it's kind of in the shape of a triangle and where it's the darkest, right up at the top, is that defining part of the pencil. I never knew that. We're learning together. She gently, which again, I have a terrible, terribly hard time at, and she's Filling in the gap. Do the same thing on the top. Same thing on the top. All right, so starting at the arch, arch this time, not the middle, but just the arch. Fully and brush. And as you can see, it's not yeah. Fine. Okay, and okay. I've gone rogue. Now I'm just doing my own thing. Smart Concealer. I don't have this palette, so. Huh. Side, yeah, I don't have that. A little bit wider. Or do I? I think I have one like that. Brush. I have one. Raise the brow. 
drag the excess to the front. I put too much again, so we will just kind of blend it out. Oh, look at that brow! This might be my favorite one. I mean, it's the second one, but. The same exact thing. I'm gonna start here at the On the top. And Product, sculpt it out. Starting at the arch, raise the brow. I don't know how you it do really it. Is. How do you do it, it this way? Hello? I'm filming right now. That was my daddy. Lose a smile. Okay, so during the commercial break, I just cleaned them up like how she's done with my brush and my concealer. Take whatever foundation that I decide to use for the day and I'm gonna pick some up on the same brush. Foundation to, on uh, the brush. The concealer. Oh, okay. with the, con the foundation. Are, this is just that is so it. smart. So that you don't have that like glowy halo look around it, which is very common. That's really smart. Okay, sis. Clear brow gel again. Just my natural hair with Yes, Beat! She's so pretty! But I'm going to connect the start of my contour to the brow so it can, you know, blend in really well. You that is so smart! I, you're not going to be able to see it with me. Like, I, it looks stupid when I do it because I don't have any eye makeup, so I'll just kind of buff it out for right now. But that is, that's brilliant. Her brows look amazing. I think these are my favorite so far it's only the second one this is clearly a little bit thinner than this side i think that's just going to come with time and practice but this is a like a technique i'm willing to practice all the time okay larissa i'll see you <laughs> smart now let's wipe these off and get to the next tutorial and now we're back to these monstrosities let's get into the next tutorial with my girl Alyssa ashley <laughs> she's so fly Ooh, okay, first of all, how dare you? Okay, spoolie in it, brushing up. Got you. Okay, so she's doing like a short stroke situation. You nasty. Um, starting in the middle, she said was very important. So, starting in the middle, she has a magic brush. I mean, you it is filling in, but my brows are just sad compared to her. She's got amazing brows. I just. <sighs> this one's a little long, but we, we'll fix it, I'm sure. We're getting somewhere. So, oh, go to the tail. See, and we'll put a tail. Well, this has given me a completely different shape altogether, which I don't mind. Okay, it's kind of like microblading, but without the, the tattoo part. These look really natural so far. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about this tail. I don't mind it. It's just a different shape than I was originally going for. This is similar to her shape, actually. Oh, she made an arch. Okay. So this is going to be difficult because mine is our over here and hers is a little bit more out. So maybe I can extend this line. That's kind of what she's doing and then bring it out that way. Look at that. It's not the best because I'm kind of guessing here how I want it to to go. So I just need to fix the like shape. It's just a lot of like guessing. So she really just goes with our natural already there brows and I don't have that. I'm gonna kind of fake it with all the knowledge I've had from earlier to this very moment. And then she uses a spoolie. Just to set them in place. Okay, clear brow gel, set it. And then after that, I go back in with more eco brow. Go back in for detail. It kind of softens the brow a little bit because of the fact that, you know, you're kind of like mixing the two products. Yes, so I, like I see that. This looks really natural. This looks like, like I got some brows. It's very different from like before. It looks like they've grown in. That's kind of cool. I just need to learn the shape better. Yeah, I just have to learn how to shape my face differently concealer same kind of brush we like a we like a, a beauty guru y'all we got the same brushes I prefer to go with one that's not too light because when it's too light i just feel like it just gives off a really kind of like not natural look and she's using her finger 
Look at these brows. Wow, I am completely shocked. All of them are great um, in their own way, depending on what look you're going for. This definitely, I know, is a much more natural look, which she states in her video. Well, I mean, these look at least really natural. If that's the look that I was going for for the day, I wanted it to look like actual individual hairs are growing out of my face. This is like I just did at home microblading. That's how I feel. Listen, all gave me different brows. I I know I have my personal favorite. I'm gonna put it in the comment section below, but I would love to know which one was your favorite on my face and uh, which style is your favorite. I would love to check it out, especially because I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do these brows for the rest of my life. So help a sister out, help me frame this face well. If you like videos like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, especially if you're not a part of the community. I would love to have you. I'm gonna be uploading new videos every week. Makeup Mondays is gonna be a thing, so make sure you tune in every week because there'll be a new Makeup Monday video. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you tomorrow. Look at these brows, sis. Oh, me? No, these are just, these are my natural brows. Thank you. Thank you. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, y'all. See, this is why God didn't give me good brows to begin with because I wouldn't know how to act.